one of the main reasons I agreed to stand is because of the fantastic work that Lois has done in the ward, not just since she's been elected, which has been terrific, but before she was elected. She's been a community champion involved in so many different things. So standing this time, there's sort of two agendas for me. One is making sure that residents are really aware of the work that Lois has been doing, which, as I say, is, is really admirable. And the second is, yes, we need more Greens on the City Council. So when we're knocking on doors, part of the message is making sure people are aware of what's been done already. And part of the message is, of course, looking at what still needs to be done. Our ward is absolutely full of, of difficult issues. Flooding, I have to say, we haven't actually been canvassing in wellies, but we might as well have been. You know, flooding has obviously been a super big issue for, for the ward. Very difficult. The, the, the actual flooding, plus, of course, the sewage. And talking to residents who've had sewage in their gardens, if not in their house, it, it brings it home to you. Um, Botley Road, which most of you know has been a shambles, um, lots and lots of issues, current, future, you name it. Um, and we, we've got various issues which are very difficult for the community because a bit like we're aware that some of the traffic measures are difficult, we have people who stand in, in a different position on some of these tricky issues. But I think one of the things I admire Lois for and that we're trying to do is make sure residents' voices are heard, make sure the difficult issues are considered rather than, okay, we've got this definite position, we're gonna push this position. Some issues are quite complex. So we're trying to make sure that, um, as I say, the, the, the nuances are heard, residents' voices are heard and, um, make the case, make the case for what we think is the sensible way forward that fits with green policies and the green vision.